Hello again, YouTube. My name's Kevil, and welcome back to the channel. So, it has been like a month since I've played a game and made a YouTube video. As you can see by my download list on Steam, there have been so many things that have been updated since I last booted my computer. And the reason for that is because a little over three weeks ago, we got a puppy. Meet Mason. Uh, he is the reason for my absence. I feel really bad any time that I lock him up to do anything. This morning we played outside for like three straight hours, did some training with him, and then I he was getting sleepy, so I kenneled him up, and now it is up here, I'm up here to make a video. Here we are in the game on the newest version. So let's talk about the challenge. So what I wanna do, and I know I'm not the first person doing this because a quick YouTube search has proved other people have done this, but I haven't watched any of those videos to see how they did it. I'm gonna try to do it the way I think is gonna work well, but I'm not sure. So what I wanna do, first of all, I was gonna do this on single player, but it, it wasn't until I launched the game that I thought maybe I could do this on a dedicated server. Uh, so I'm just gonna probably join this one with the most players right now. Uh, ping isn't bad on any of the NA servers, but like, I, I don't know what's going on. There are zero community servers up. Maybe the game's just that dead now. It, like, I guess this update did come out two days ago, so maybe no one's updated their server yet, but I find it hard to believe. Because if I go to uh, show servers different versions, you know, there are quite a few servers that at least had the most recent version. You know, that's a pretty long list. And then you get to these servers, which are still up, even though they're running really old versions. Nobody's on them. Nobody can play them. I, I don't really know what's going on here. But yeah, we're going to look at the official servers. Just going to click 1006. So if you want to come be on the same server as me while I do this challenge, here's this one. The challenge I keep hinting at is a attempted Nuzlocke. That was weird static. Ooh, what is happening? All right, so as you can see here, I divided up the map into, uh, what was it, 45 sections. And, you know, maybe that's more sections than I need. Maybe it's less sections than I'm going to need. I'm not sure how fast pals are going to be dying. Like I said, it's been a month since I played this game. I don't really remember how rough this game can be. And I also don't know what difficulty the server is set to. That could be a huge problem. If this is like a a hard server. I was kind of wanting to do this at normal. I'm going to assume that because this is a uh, dedicated server provided by the developers, it's on normal, but it didn't actually say it anywhere. According to the Leaf Green website I was looking at, uh, it was like Nuzlocke.com. I think I think that's like actually what it was called, Nuzlocke.com. There are 47 encounters prior to the Elite Four, and then there are another four encounters that come after. So what my thoughts are, I'm gonna give myself five caves that I can go into and catch one pal. And it's not gonna be the boss pal at the end. I think it might just be the first pal I see. But there are some pals in the caves that you can't really find anywhere else. So I'm going to go and get those. So yeah, the, the whole point is I'm going to just like stare at my feet. And whatever pal I bump into first is going to be the one I try to capture. So without any more uh, preamble, let's begin. Yep, we are happy with our dude. Let's check out my first ever... Uh, server experience. Hello, pals. Wonder who my starter is going to be. The tree holds the truth. Wonder when we'll get to experience the tree. I am very excited for the uh, summer update that should be coming pretty soon. So choose a respawn point. We're just going to start at the Plateau of Beginnings. So we're going to go ahead and spawn there and start our experience. So yeah, someone's clearly built up here. We've got a blue line. Will it even let me enter? Okay, I can't. Nope. Does it kick me out? No, that's just lag. 
So someone did put down a pal box there. There are like, what, 12 players online right now? That's pretty cool. I'm going to place a workbench right here, because the tutorial says I have to. And so are they at the same time. That's funny. We get our stone pickaxe going. They seem to be having difficulty building their item. Are they immediately trying to attack me? Yep, they, they are. Okay. Alright, so our next step is going to be to acquire a pal sphere. So, we will craft one of those here in a second. We might as well get some more resources, though, while we're out. Alright, we have four pal spheres. The next pal that I see is going to be my starter. Let's go ahead and jump down here. I'm gonna keep my eyes near the center of the screen and let's see what we're gonna find. A cat. Okay, our first pal is going to be a cativa. There we go. This is the only pal I can capture at the plateau of beginnings. No fox sparks, no uh, whatever they're called, and I have to name him. So let's go to party, edit, let's name him, what's a good cat name? I'm going to name him Banana. Banana, my starting Kativa. I don't know why Banana, but that's, that's what we're going with. Uh, what stats do he have? So we have, he's a coward, that is horrible, so negative 10% attack. Uh, he deals, that's all useless. That is all useless. Okay. Well, we have a cat for our first pal. And things will be fine. I can, however, murder everything to level up my Kativa. Ooh, when I set up this challenge, I forgot about eggs. I did completely forget about eggs. So, maybe... Maybe instead of the five cave mons, we could do five eggs or somewhere in between. Holy crap, where are you running? I don't know. I'll have to give more thought on that. He's so fast. I guess I guess runner on the Kativa actually makes a big difference. It's kind of funny the way he's zooming around. Bro, chill. Chill. So in a normal Nuzlocke, you can't level up your pals beyond the next gym leader. I don't really think I'm going to implement anything like that. Uh, only because I don't really know how I would go about doing that. Right, let's throw Banana out, but keep an eye on the HP of it. Yeah, it just took a big hit. Alright, I'm already pulling Banana back. I cannot risk Banana dying already. So if Banana were to die right now, is that just the run over? I guess I didn't think about that. Do I need to be fighting these with Banana? I don't know. That might be a little too hardcore for me. <laughs> if I had to do every encounter with uh, my captured mom. I'm not calling you back. You better win this. Oh my gosh, I thought that was Banana who died. <laughs> Alright, get back in. Heal up. I think it was level three. Let's uh, kill a few more mons until Banana's uh, level four. I'm going to grab the egg because it's the first one I've seen. And I'll decide later on what I'm going to do with it. But for now, even though I'm half health, let's go and meet our second encounter. So any pal I see from now on, we are going to attempt to catch. I saw one. It's a fox barks. I am so ecstatic about this. Let's throw out banana. I'm 
pulling banana back. Going for the capture. I only have two balls. All right, we got it. All right, that is our second encounter done. So that is a big chunk of the map that we now can no longer capture pals at. So that is a reference to a book I read when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, Firestar from the Warrior books. Uh, I'm not embarrassed at all to know that. I wish they had fixed the issue on servers where things don't go into your inventory instead of fall on the ground. But it is what it is. See, like, sometimes they go into my inventory, and then other times they just sit there as a pile, and I have to pick them up with F. Like, all of these items. We are no longer a naked idiot on the beach. So I came over here to grab the teleport, and then we are going to head to our next encounter, number three, which is over on the beach to our north a little ways. All right. This river is a border that I created. So once I cross over here, the first pal I see is going to be the one I have to capture. Of course, no duplicates. So let's cross this bridge. Let's see what we find. Ooh, a tansy. <laughs> banana might kill. Let's deal some damage. Okay, pull banana back. And let's hopefully capture him. Come on, Tansy. No, don't use all my balls. If I can't capture him in the next three balls, then I don't get an encounter from this area. Okay, it's more like it. Because Spoon Kid is monkey. That one's a no-brainer. Whoa, whoa, what are you guys doing? Whatever, the lift monk gets to live. Jeez, it's annoying. All right, let's grab our teleport and then head to encounter number four. Don't mind if I do. They don't even have, they, okay, they do have storage there. Their pal must be sleeping. Oh, their pal is dying. Oh, I could steal the berries, too. When, when he's done uh, harvesting, I could just grab him. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, you monster. Whoever's base this is, you need to feed your freaking dudes. So, as my tansy battles this tansy... Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the goals for this challenge slash account. Oh, big base up there. Oh, yeah, slice him up. So, obviously, the main challenge is going to be to defeat the five tower bosses, but I also kind of want to go around and defeat every boss, like chill it up here. So, we'll kind of work our way through. Like, in today's episode, I think I'm just going to get our seven... Uh, encounters and then maybe take down a single boss we'll see if I run out of recording time or not because I am on limited time thank you just trying to work on leveling my dudes up right now well, I didn't think about black marketeers either definitely think they're off limits can't buy anything they have though a nightwing would be nice it, the one thing I'm worried about during this playthrough is not getting anything that can be a mount. Because that'll just make everything a lot slower. So, I don't want to cheat. Because I could take that Nightwing as my first encounter for this area. Because it's the first thing I saw. Do I count it or is that cheesing? I'm going to have to reload the area. But I could keep my fingers crossed that the Nightwing is over there for the first thing I see. So yeah, we're going to en enter into encounter number four territory. Uh, things are quite a bit higher level over there than I thought they were going to be. So I know it's dark, but once we cross into this reddish area, 
It is going to be a new encounter, number four. Let's hopefully get someone good. All right, we're gonna keep an eye out. First thing I see, didn't catch eye of anything. A rush roar, that's our first encounter. throw someone out. Fight him, Spoon Kid! Alright, I'm already pulling Spoon Kid back. I can't let these encounters die. I know I'm kind of being cheesy with it, but they can't let them die. What? Okay, only a 69% chance. There we go. Let's go ahead and name him. I'm naming him Lunch. Good old ham sandwich. A thwack would have been nice. I don't have a water type yet. Oh wait, Rush Roar is a mount. He's not the world's fastest mount, but he is a mount. I'm over encumbered, I really need to slap down a base. So I didn't think about this either. I should do some exploration in the nighttime to get some uh, dark types. I guess we can just put it here. That's gonna be another thing. Do I allow myself to capture duplicates just for base work? I think my answer to that question is gonna be no, but I'll think on it for the next episode. Well, we got a little bit of progress on the base done. Just a little bit, as you can see. But I just realized something kind of terrible. If I am unable to get a random water pal, I may never be able to have a berry plantation working without watering it myself, which means my pals won't be able to give themselves automatic food. That's a little sketchy to think about. So our next encounter is after we cross this line. So as we get close to that area, that's our next encounter, encounter number five. All right, as soon as the ground isn't red anymore, I'm gonna look up and that's our next encounter. So let's say this is the line right here. Who's gonna be the first person we run into? Our first pal. A hoot crates? Does he count? He's over the line. He must still be here from nighttime. Okay, I'll take it. It's our first encounter. Oh, and some sy syndicate thugs spawned? I don't want Tansy to die because of them. Alright, I'm gonna keep Tansy out, but hopefully he doesn't die. I need to keep a close look on his health. And I'm actually... I won't be able to look at his health if I do that. Alright, I'm pulling him back. Rush or go. Okay, that's one dead. Why am I lagging? Stressful. Okay. 50%. What do I got? Nine more? All right. If only it could have been you. If only it had been you. I would have rather taken a dire howl over a hoot crate, but I can't complain. What are we going to name the hoot crate? I feel like naming him Ted. Head the hoot crates. Alright, so our next encounter 
is actually close, just down here, when it transitions into the yellow area. I just, I don't want to deal with you. But we, we can't uh, avoid a trainer battle. It is required. And I get free pal spheres out of it, so that's nice. Gillum, Danzy, you can. What is that lean he's got going on? Blur. Oh, another battle I got challenged to. Finish him off, Fox Sparks. Use that move. Your opponent is weak. Yeah. Oh, we'll level up off that. All right. We are getting close to the border. Those land balls are still on this side. So let's go ahead and I'm going to level up weight capacity and take a look at the tech tree real quick. I don't care about that. Logging site is huge. Why not get the sign? And it. What's the baseball bat compared to Stone Sphere? Oh, it's better. I'll say I'm allowed to use it. Me melee weapons are allowed. Okay, so stare at the ground, and when we cross into the yellow area, we are going to look for our next encounter. gosh oh, I'm so happy right now this is going to be our mount forever please have good speed stats I need to throw a pal out That was a big hit on Firestar. Well, oh, I'm taking good damage too. What's my percentage right now? 42? A couple more hits. 43. Come on. Come on. Yes! Okay. Uh, Artisan Cheery. That's kind of sad. Could have been better. Only one encounter left on the list. Let's hope I can get a water type. I haven't gotten a lamb or a malpaca yet. That could be a problem for wool, but I can always just kill when I need wool. The heck is What just happened? Oh, it, it's it's another player. I was so confused. What the How? How did someone do that? I'm impressed and <sighs> confused. I wish I had a flying mount to go check that out. Honestly, don't think this challenge will be possible. There's no way I can defeat Victor at the end of the game with just five pals. Even if I grind him up to level 50 and me sitting there plinking with a bow. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we shall see. It's the whole point of the challenge. What? Oh, I did have a cup of tea. Cloth Outfit Schematic 1. All right, an upgrade. We'll take it. 
I'm gonna eat my pizza now. Okay, so we are approaching the next place. I'm going to run along this beach. I know I'm kind of cheesing it, but my goal is to hopefully stumble upon a water type pal. It is not guaranteed though, but this is gonna be our next encounter area as soon as we uh, get to that rock. Uh, that sucks. I'm happy to have it for their drops in the uh, the range or, or whatever it's called. But I wanted a water type. I really wanted a water type. Ah, oh, yeah, that sucks. This is definitely the area. This counts as being the area. All right, Vixie. What are you doing, bro? If he despawns, I'm screwed. I'll have one less encounter. All right, that is all seven encounters that I am allowed to have for the uh, starting plateau or windswept hills. That's what this area is called. So next we're gonna be heading over here and this is gonna be in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna head over here. There are three encounters in the sea breeze area. And then there are two encounters, Marsh and Eastern Wild Islands. I just had the entire island count as an encounter. And then we have Sanctuary number one as an encounter. And then we're going to go ahead and try to slay some bosses. So let's go ahead and find a teleport to get home and name our pals before we end off the episode. All right. So my initial pals... I got Banana, Firestar, and Spoon Kid. Pretty good trio up there. And then Lunch, my Rush Roar. Ted, the Who Crates. And then we got a Dire Howl, which I am going to... Can I just rename from here? I already know what I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him Mason after the puppy that I just got. And then... It feels like a Polly to me. I don't know. There we go. So eventually Polly is going to be a base slave, but she will starve to death if I don't have food production. And I can't have food production until I have a water type. So that's an issue that we will deal with next episode. Uh, we'll keep lunch in my party and Mason because I'm going to want him to be constantly leveled up. Uh, for now, for now I like this. I, we can swap banana for who crates, I think. Yeah. Okay, so that's my party for now. And I would deploy these guys now, but a rule I'm going to impose is because I don't have food production yet. Which I guess I can throw out somebody yeah. to make that. Because uh, I don't have food production yet, because I don't have a water type, uh, they will starve while I'm offline, because this is a persistent uh, online server. And that is a problem, because if I log in and their HP is at zero, they are truly dead, and I have to drop them on the ground. So yeah, they won't get watered unless I stand here and do it myself. So that is a problem. We need a water type. And it's not a guarantee I'm going to get a water type anytime soon. Maybe when I'm running next episode around the... How many encounters will I do next episode? I'm going to do four, five, six. Only six encounters next episode do I plan on doing. So yeah, it's going to be a problem. But yeah. That's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If this is entertaining to you, then consider subscribing. My name's Kevil, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!